and once again if you're new to this channel welcome and then you know everyone is coming back to my channel welcome back so for the most part i do this every single year where i do a reflection but we're going to be doing this a little bit differently a different little format we're going to be doing this like as if we're doing a stand up for the most part i'm going to be going over what i did last year what i plan on doing this year and also any blockers that i had as far as last year and these blockers are essentially goals that i didn't essentially meet so let's go into that let's get as far as last year i had a really rough start let's just get that straight out of the way probably one of the most stressful back-to-back -back weeks couple of weeks at the very beginning of this year but somehow i was able to come out of it so without really going to you know the details for the most part i got some advice that really changed my perspective of a situation and i was able to persevere through the hardships so hardships all right, so let's go into the next thing. As far as certs, so I knocked out a couple of certs this year and that was really awesome. So I was able to get the certification that I had my eye on since I started this whole Salesforce journey and that was the Salesforce Certified Application Architect. So pretty much, you know, progressing my career, gaining my knowledge in this space, in this domain, and that's really awesome. Which brings me into the next thing, I got a new job. So now I am a senior Salesforce solution architect and so far I'm loving it. And for the most part, I'm able to stay up to date with Salesforce and the upcoming features, interface with business on technical matters, and also be able to solution out stories for declarative and custom dev developers. On a personal note, I got back into long distance running. Um, not to you know bore you too much on the details, but for the most part, I think it's just going to be a beneficial to my overall health, mentally and physically. Which brings me to what I plan on doing in 2023. So I'm setting a goal to run a marathon or marathons before the year is out. My long-term goal is to get into the New York marathon race by 2024. So I have to get in my qualifying range and my age group in a qualifying marathon in 2023. So for the most part, I have to do a marathon in another two hours and 53 minutes. And essentially is making that a six minute and 35 second mile pace. I'm not that fast, but I'm going to be working at it. I'm going to be following a marathon plan to achieve my goal. So fingers crossed. And also make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on the progress of that and some other things on my channel as well. So next on a professional note, I plan on getting four certifications this year, which will, you know, put me in the domain of a system architect. So I will be going over Salesforce integration, identity management, and so on and so on. This will probably be my last year of getting Salesforce certifications. There is the technical architect certification with, you know, that is only if I really want to be a try hard. That's some try hard stuff right there. So we'll see. You know, I might do it. No promises. All right. So back on a personal note, I'm also, you know, looking into analyzing properties. So I set a goal of analyzing 20 properties per week so I can, you know, meet my goal of purchasing a property by the end of this year of 2023. And as you know, if you've been following along, I built a Salesforce app that will essentially make this a much easier process for me so I can make better decisions in my real estate investment endeavors it's definitely going to be interesting you know investing in this market in this current economy but i mean if the numbers work and outlooks look great then i gotta do it so lastly for the end of this year it's probably not the last last goal but it's definitely one of the things i'm definitely gonna be focused on in the top four is you know i'll be working on some home woodwork projects and also renovations so I'm setting a goal of you know finishing some stuff like shower stuff and also doing some cabinetry and doing some other woodwork projects around the house before you know decide to fully make that decision to move on to another place i'm definitely gonna be showing little snippets in my vlogs in regards to that if not if you know i might actually if it's not too much work i might actually do a separate channel feature channel of my in-depth you know projects and stuff if it's not too much work, no promises. All right, so the last thing, blockers. Blockers that I had last year, I set a goal of, you know, putting out a Salesforce course. And for the most part, I started it, but I just fizzled out on it. A lot of things got put on my plate towards the end of the year, and I just didn't have time for it. I also didn't slip to the schedule of, like, finishing it out. So one of the things I'm going to definitely do is set out that set time of doing that particular thing. 
If not, then I plan on doing like a live stream to just do the course out for free. I might actually do that. To be honest, I think it should be a great proof of concept of my teaching skills and my ability. I think the the course itself will kind of like fine tune and have like different things that I want to do with it visually. But you know, the live stream is definitely going to be a nice proof of concept of it. And if you know people have questions, then I can answer those questions right there on the live stream and you know going forward in the future as well because i'm just gonna keep it up other than that you know i leave you guys with this goals need plans and plans need to be executed it's not host the culture just adjust to what you need to do in your life and also give yourself grace when you fall off and just know you can always get back up let's be better than we were before and crush those goals this year let's do it guys until next time Peace.